Alrighty, boys. Zenless Zone Zero 1.3 comes out tomorrow. And of course, uh, Yanagi is going to be available then. And as such, Hoyer has released two trailers regarding Yanagi. One that seems to be rather fan service and the other one, ooh, that seems kind of somewhat dark. But yes, I've yet to react to either one of these trailers yet. And I have some free time today, so I decided to go ahead and just watch both of Yanagi's trailers to see if they could change my mind about skipping her. Because I am going to be skipping Yanagi to go for lighter, but who knows? Maybe these trailers will convince me otherwise. Now, I really don't know nothing about Yanagi as a character because you only met her like a few times throughout the course of uh, the main story of Zenless Zone Zero. But from what I can tell, she's basically the mom of Section 6, essentially. She seems to like look after Miyabi and the other Section 6 members, especially Sokaku, like a crap ton. But that's it. That's basically all my knowledge about Yanagi. So here's hoping I get a bit of more insight in, uh, in these trailers I'm about to see here. But yeah, I guess without further ado, let's begin watching both Yanagi's uh, trailers here. Let's start with uh, 99 to-dos. Oh boy, <laughs> that sounds like a shit ton. You know, it's kind of funny that the demo came out first before the teaser. It's like, they really do these in a random order, don't they? But alrighty, without further ado, let's begin watching Tsukishiro and Yanagi's character demo. 99 plus to-dos. Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's she doing in her daily life, I wonder? Alrighty, let's begin. I'm expecting some this massive fan service here. Yep. Hmm, looks good. Phew. Let me turn on captions here, just so we uh, know what's going on. Done. Now all I need is the chief's signature. Come to think of it, she does look pretty here in the here in the cutscenes. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, Hoyo. <laughs> Wait, today's training day. I need to get this document to the chief before she leaves. Okay, leaning on the horniest already. <laughs> this document to the I chief fucking see Haramas over there just fucking sleeping. God damn. <laughs> also, why is these zests like so freakishly large? What the hell? These are like so oversized, especially for Sakaku. <laughs> what the heck? <sighs> She's still here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <pff>. yes. <laughs> That's everybody right there, Sakaku. Yes. <laughs> Lead in right into the. be for dinner. <laughs> Leading right into them meat sacks. <laughs> okay, so I was right. Yeah, she's basically the mob of the group. But <laughs> okay, Hoya, you're definitely not beating the Guna game allegations for this. But then again, who's counting? <laughs> That'll be for dinner. Oh, of course, she wants burgers. Later, we can. Wait, what? Up oh, and we always go. Chief. Uh, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck did she go? <laughs> Chief, are you there? Hi, cutting hairs. Why would she Hello? think I look here? Chief, are you there? Why is she looking at the cables? Excuse me, have you seen? How often does Miyabi wander around? Oops, she's not here either. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm gonna kill them. Just gonna ignore them. Chief. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm not really in the mood to deal with you right now, but you're Oh fuck. <laughs> oh bitch, that shot though, eh yo. <laughs> oh yeah, that's Yeah. <laughs> that's her burst, right? God, she has a cool looking I really do want to pull for her, but I've already like too many uh, anomaly characters. Hey, is she in the box? <laughs> oh she What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, now nah, why would she be there? Mm -hmm, the angle. <laughs> also, then, yeah, walking high heels suck. <laughs> bean buns are already sold out. So. <gasps> now I kind of feel. Oh, and she was here the whole time. Oh, you're back. Red bean buns. I remember you liked them. Aww. Daddy, look! She's got a ton of red bean buns. Sure, I went ahead and finished these for you. Aw, that's, that's a wholesome ending. <laughs> Alright, let's eat them together. I call dibs on the biggest one! Hey, that one's for Tsukishiro. It's okay, Sokaku. You can have it. No. Best mom. <laughs> Uh, that, that was a really, really cute trailer, and uh, hmm, just a little bit fan service I will say. But nah, what does Zenless Zone Zero about a bit of fan service here and there, right? Goddamn. 
Oh god. Yeah, Hoya Ho really leaned in with like some of these darn angles. Also, I love the fact that, yeah, I pointed out the desk was so fucking large. I think right here, Miyabi had to use our freaking box to reach the top of it. Like, how the hell? How the hell did you make a desk so freaking large? That just seems a bit, uh, a bit counterintuitive to Miyabi's height. God damn though, this is a really, really good trailer. And mm, not because of these reasons, but because of some of the other reasons. <laughs> uh, what will they think of next? I hope, uh, honestly, since they're leading in so much of the fan service for some of these trailers for the limited characters, like with uh, Zhuya and Jane Doe, and then now Yanagi, I hope, uh, <laughs> I hope they do equality justice and give uh, Lighter's trailer just as much fan service. <laughs> they better, I'm just saying. Better righty, that about does it for... Uh, Yanagi's uh, first demo, and now we move on to our teaser, which seems a bit darker. Yeah, <laughs> what are those blades surrounding her face? That, uh, ooh, we might get some lore regarding her life and everything, hmm, I guess we'll see. But yeah, now that we're done with uh, Yanagi's demo, let's move on to our teaser now, Oni Guardian. Huh, wonder what that's all about. Alrighty, let's begin watching Sikishiro's and Yanagi's teaser now, Oni Guardian, hmm. Four minutes long, I wonder what's gonna be shown in this. And the thumbnail made it look like it seemed like she has a pretty dark backstory, so I wonder. But alrighty, I guess no point in waiting any further. Let's begin watching right about now. Oni Guardian, what that what are that's all about? Whoa. Oh god, is her village like on fire or something? Could be some Naruto shit. Cause yeah, the Sector 6 members are relatively Japanese based, right? I think. I mean, Sokaka's There's literally no one. We'll launch the final attack at dawn. Oh, Soldier Eleven. Is there no other way? I have to hurry. Wait, no, no, no that's not. Huh? Wait, no, that's Yanagi. Oh, Sokaku. Uh, so they met. Aww. Hungry. Uh, you can't. I, 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 I thought it was Soldier Eleven Wait, because of the goggles. <laughs> Shit. Are they like burning down Oni Village or something? Aw, look at little. Aw, look at little Sokaku. That's adorable. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we're off to a. Avenge our fallen kin. She's a dark star. Hostage. We need her alive. Do they let any of our people live? They almost killed Sokaku just mere moments ago. It's because of people like you. Oh shit. What did you say? It's because of people like you on both sides that the war keeps repeating over and over like a curse we can't escape. Be silent. Oh Human. shit. <coughs> That's like Sokaku's dad. This is his fault. His father, his brothers, all killed in this war. Not even his baby sister survived. Jesus. Tell me, who's to blame for all of this? You and I, we're both to blame. We should have been the ones to stop this. What are you, oh, he's like dangerous to, ah. Oh. Sokaku, come here now. Sokaku, don't eat Yanagi's eyes there for me. This lady gave Sokaku tasty food. No. Sokaku wants to share with everyone. Do you like it? It's a little hard. Make sure you chew it so you don't choke. No, humans cannot be trusted. All of you, I'm... stand down. Okay, let me just pause you to get my thoughts up. What is it, two minutes already? Jeez. Um, so I guess, I don't think it was explained in game, or maybe it was, that there was like, a, I guess, a, a war between the Oni Thyrans and, um... And humans? That's the one thing I don't get about uh, Sokaku. Is she a, like a legit Oni or an Oni Thyron? Because yeah, it's hard to tell the difference sometimes. But yeah, I'm guessing this is what is depicting. Yeah, like a war between them. Hmm. For what reasons? Who knows? I hope we get a bit more explanation on that in a bit here. But yeah, let's continue. I just want to get my thoughts out there real quick. But leave us. Oh shit. <laughs> You came here alone. What is your real intention? If my intel is correct, the one responsible for starting this war is no longer alive. Oh. There's no reason for us to keep fighting. That's right. Aw. My father is dead. Now, I must carry this burden. I... 
I just want to protect my people. <coughs> I knew you were the only hope to bring peace. But after everything that's happened, how can we forgive each other? The only way is to create an opportunity ourselves. Can Will I you trust you? Wow. Hey, war fucking sucks. There's no question about that. I trust you'll make it's not just some choice. people just die for no reason. Yeah. Uh, what the? Human and Oni blood now flow together in your veins. Wait, did she? Live on and finish what I never could. Did she get like a blood transfusion from the Oni people? Don't let our blood be spilled in vain. Oh. The rebel Oni leader has been executed. Sukishiro, you've done us a great service. Oh, wait, did she? All they wanted was to become citizens of New Eridu. Wait, did they, did they execute the Red Oni? Like, girl? Is that what they did? My life to you. Because I trust you. Oh, fuck, I think they did. Ah, wow, this, this might be the... Oh, God. This is a really, really dark no trailer. Choice. I'm gonna assume they like get beheaded her and, and stuff. And Oni blood now flow together in your veins. Uh, at least that's the implications I think I'm supposed to get from that. Finish what I never could. Jeez. Don't let our blood be spilled in vain. Yeah, I was not expecting this trailer to go really, really freaking the dark. The rebel Oni leader has been executed. Sukishiro, you've done us a great service. I expected more of that stuff for like. All they wanted. Was to become Miyabi and whatnot. Of New Eridu. Hmm. I'll take good care of them. Uh. Uh. No. So Kaku. Uh huh. Smells like sister. Aww. Oh. Wow, that was a really, really freaking dark trailer. I was not expecting that shit. Oh my goodness. Uh, as compared to the other trailers we got from uh, Zenless, yeah, this one seems, might seem like one of the darker ones so far. Good lord. Also, can we take the moment to appreciate little baby Sukaku? <laughs> she looks so, so adorable here. Look, look, look at her. Hungry. Aw, look, 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 look at that. How, how could you hate this little gremlin? And then she went on to just, I guess, <laughs> continue following uh, Yanagi's like, footsteps and become members of Section 6. That's adorable. That's really, really cute. God damn, though. What a, what a backstory. What a lore drop for, uh, for, for what I assume is was supposed to be like a fan service kind of character trailer. That is just makes me all the more curious as to see how like the entire Section 6 members even met in the first place. They really need to do like origin stories for like each of the factions because I think we pretty much know how the cutting hairs form together, uh, at least for the most part. We never really got that story for the other factions. So I, I would really, really like to see like an origin story like quest like created for each faction. Maybe someday they'll do it, but uh, I'm not counting on it, but I, I would love it if they did do that. That is the end of uh, Tsukishiro Yanagi's teaser. What a great, what a crazy freaking lore drop. And uh, wow, how unusually dark for Zelda Zone Zero. I kind of like it in the matter that, yeah, <laughs> like this is an apocalyptic world. Of course, it's meant to be dark in a few aspects, but <laughs> we're going to throw in some fan service in there as well, because, you know, this is a 16 plus game and everything. So we're allowed to do whatever we want. <laughs> God damn, though. That, that's a really, really good trailer. I'm leaving a like on that one. I guess it also confirms that, that yeah, Yanagi has both only human blood in her, in her body, which I guess makes, maybe it like enhances her power or something. I don't know what's the implication of that, but I guess she's like half Oni now, uh, assumingly. Damn, though, the animation was also really, really good too, or what is supposed to be like a very short character teaser. Like all this is really, really like good looking. Goddamn, ZZZ, just... Yeah, just keep cooking with your uh, animation. Just keep cooking, please. <laughs> kind of sad though that I think like maybe this red oni kind of had to die in order for like the war to stop, which is kind of unfortunate. God damn it, that is like really, really sad. And yeah, I guess we now know why um, Sakaku kind of sticks by Yanagi a lot. They're kind of essentially like mother-daughter like, kind of relationship. That is actually kind of wholesome, I'm not gonna lie. Well, now I'm looking forward to seeing more of the interactions in 1.3. Hopefully the two like 
talk a bit and also uh of course the Yanagi's interaction with the other uh, section six members i wonder how that's gonna play out but yeah we'll get to experience all of that tomorrow when i play zelda zone 0 1.3 story quest in tomorrow's stream so if you guys want to catch that stream from me be sure you subscribe today so you don't miss out on any future zelda's Hokai star rail or genshin streams and also leave a like on the video as well if you enjoyed my reaction to everything but yeah i guess that'll wrap things up for my reactions to both of uh, Yanagi's uh, character teaser i'll still be skipping her unfortunately because i only have enough polychrome for like one character and i have to choose between yanagi and lighter and lighter's who i choose i want the entire sons of Kalian faction on my account but yeah with all that said guys thank you all so much for watching and i wish you guys the best of luck in your yanagi summons if you're going to be pulling for her tomorrow but yeah that'll be the end of me reacting to yanagi's trailers everybody thank you all so much for watching once again and i hope to see you guys in tomorrow's live stream when we play zena zone zeros 1.3 update Alrighty, boys you take care of yourselves now see ya